Greetings, this is Mickey, and I'm a graduate student currently designing a master's research study. And as I've mentioned before, if you are familiar with videos from my blog, the blossoming fledgling researcher.wordpress.com, my major style has been the literature. I've been drowning in the literature, I've been lost in the literature. This video is a demonstration of how I'm using Vue to help me to whittle down and just really narrow and focus in on the most useful literature. So the things that I'll reference today are Mendeley and Vue, which is Tufts visual understanding environment. And I will also use Satavi just briefly. Satavi is a program that's a reference manager, a knowledge manager, and a task manager, basically an academic research writer's dream. But briefly, I just want to mention that Sanford K talks about writing under pressure and how to write quickly. And uh, in one of his earlier chapters in the book, he discusses how ruthless the writer has to be. I definitely am in falling under that category. As I mentioned before, I am drowning in the literature. Um, here is my literature collected in Mendeley. This is most, like, probably 97% of my literature. Some of my literature is outside of Mendeley, but most of it's here. But as you can see, I have at least 616 documents. Um, there are a few uh, multiple copies in here, not many, but this is a lot of literature. And basically, this is not an unusual problem for a novice to have where you are studying a phenomenon and you approach the literature and you just have no idea. You know, you try to look at literature that seems like it's connected to what you're studying. You don't know how closely related the literature is to what you're studying or how peripheral um, each topic is, <laughs> each piece of literature is to what you're studying. And so you can just end up over years, like over three years, 616 documents. So what I'm going to do in this video is to demonstrate how Tufts View, which is their visual understanding environment software, can help you to content map um, in order to kind of hone in on what literature is useful. Alright, so here's View. I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to follow Dr. Joseph A. Maxwell's advice about constructing a conceptual framework via starting out brainstorming. Just brainstorm about the concepts that are related to the phenomenon that you're studying. So here's view, and here are the different abilities that you have in view. What I'm going to do is create a node. First let me label this view so when I go back and look at it I know what I'm talking about. So this is a brainstorm for Again, I'll know what I'm doing here. All right, so let's create some nodes. All right, so you know, I don't want statement of the problem, but I really just want the problem. Problem, and I'm going to go ahead and change this. problem is lack of student need for algebra, or 
student felt lack of neutrality. So I'm going to add that in. shows up in printing well at 12, and I'm going to change it to 14 here just so I can see it better. All right, and I've encountered this phenomenon, students felt lack of need for algebra, in two pieces of literature. So I'm going to add that note. one R or two R's. I'll have to correct that later. I think it's one. Preferring arithmetic solution over algebra solution. Alright. So we have those. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a connector. Maxwell says that it's really not the node so much that helps with your conceptual framework as the connectors. You could describe the nature of the connection between nodes, and I'll go back and do that later, but just to demonstrate that you can do this connection here and you can label it here. So I'm going to say this is an example. I'm going to change this because I'm also going to draw a connector from student lack of need for algebra to here. So I'm going to go ahead and make this be curvy. So select this. So we have two examples in the literature. All right, so I could continue need here, but what I'm going to do before continuing with my node making is to show you how you can use this to hone in on the literature. So we recall that I have oh, 616 pieces of literature, PDFs. What I can do is Look for my NCTM article here. And there it is, and I can drag, 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 and um, well, let me place this in here. All right. There we go. So. Now I'm just dealing with this one piece of literature. 